Hello friends, this is Malumati Dunya and I am Teba Kamran. Today I am going to tell you about synthetic fiber. In the previous video, we discussed about natural fiber, so let's take a short rewind. First of all, we started with cotton, about from how it's obtained to all its uses as it is used in many household products. Then we came to jute. Jute was a very fashionable fiber used for many household products and we discussed them in the previous video. Then at the last we studied about core and how it's obtained from coconut. Today's video is related to the previous video and it's about animal fibers. Animal fibers include wool and silk. First of all wool. Wool is the fiber obtained from the hair of sheep and some other animals like rabbit deer, etc. The process of removing wool from sheep by using special clippers is called shearing. After shearing, the wool is packed in bales. It is cleaned and combed by a machine in the mills. It is then separated and spun into a fiber. This fiber is then woven or knitted to make woolen clothes. Wool is a fluffy fiber and hence retains air. Since air is a bad conductor of heat, wool has the property of retaining the heat. Woolen clothes do not allow our body heat to escape and thus keep us warm. Therefore, woolen clothes made from wool are worn in the cold weather. Australia is the leading producer of wool in the world, followed by New Zealand and China. Other than in clothing, wool is also used to make carpets and felt shoes. Next comes the number of silk. Silk is obtained from the cocoon of the silkworm. Silkworm are insects which feed on the leaves of the mulberry tree. A silkworm secretes a silk raw thread which it spins around itself. Each silkworm spins a continuous thread of up to 800 meters long to make a cocoon. The cocoon is boiled in water to kill the silkworm. Then the cocoon is unwound to get the silk fiber. The rearing of silk form to produce silk is called sericulture. Silk is an expensive fiber. Silk was first used to and developed in China about 7000 years ago. From China it came to India and then went to the Middle East, Europe and Africa. Silk trade was so extensive and important that the major set of trade routes between Europe and Asia became known as the famous silk route. Many people believe that it is not right to use silk as silk worms are killed in the boiling water to obtain the silk. Synthetic fibers. The fibers obtained artificially by chemical processes are called synthetic fibers, which include nylon, rayon, and polyester. They are made from chemicals that are mainly obtained from petroleum. Clothes made from Synthetic fibers are stronger than the clothes made from natural fibers. They do not wrinkle easily and dry quickly, but synthetic fibers have less absorption capacity. Therefore, they do not absorb sweat and as a result, the fabrics made from these fibers are not suitable for a hot and humid weather. These fibers are often blended with other natural fibers to obtain better quality fabrics, which have the strength and can also breathe and absorb sweat. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to watch the next video about the fiber to fabric part 3.